couple of new developers, uh, Stage Light, well, they're not new, but they brought uh, a great program to, uh, to iOS and also a uh, nano studio that'll be released uh, early this, uh, this month, December. And both of them uh, do not use inter-app audio they, uh, or audio bus. They are the uh, AUV3 commitment. It kind of caught me, kind of blindsided me here because uh, I have a lot invested in uh, IAA apps like uh, Positive Grids uh, Suite for the uh, for iOS. Now, down to Stage Light. I have one problem with Stage Light that I'm not really sure why it is, and that Stage Light will run this application only in mono. Now, I'm going to play this for you in stereo. You can hear that stereo wide delay. You can hear that's a nice stereo chorus there. So I've left this program now. I'm going to close it. I'm going to go to Stage Light, and we have the audio track here. And you, as, you, as you can hear, I'm only getting mono now. How now? Let me uh, let me back up and show you how to do this in case you're wondering. Now, let's build a track uh, for the guitar. Okay, so we got to get out of here and go back to here and go to here and add an audio track. Now we go back to here, I think we had to anyway. And we go to plugins and we're going to add an effect and we're going to go to uh, external plugins. If you're having trouble with this, make sure you re scan all of the plugins. That's, uh, that was getting me, that was screwing me there for a long time. Stuff wasn't showing up, and that was why. Okay, so, well, that's fine. Tone bridge, make sure you hit the plus or drag it, or else it won't show up. Now you don't hear anything, because you have to go and open the monitor. See, mono is off. Monitor input. There we go. So it sounds pretty good. Uh, I've got a bad AC. I've got a ground problem here, and I can't. I'm not going to be fixing it anytime soon. So bear with me. So I'm going to go to Stage Light and look for EQ Equalizer uh, Default. Okay. Okay, and as you can hear, we've still got our uh, our delay in there. Now, I don't think I can fix that from here. See, this is part of the problem. This is all you get from within the program with this. And uh, I don't know if you noticed that it was it was working, but it wasn't even on. If you hit any of this other stuff, you really can't get anywhere to. You can ac you can access other people's stuff. You can search the whole online catalog, but your own stuff, unless you publish it, you can't get to it. So let's see if I click this. Yeah, that's our stereo chorus, which is in mono. And that was our stereo delay, which is also in mono. Uh, let's get back here. Okay, so we're working on a sound. If you want to flesh this out, of course, you probably already know what you would want to do yourself. Um, <clears throat> using Stage Light's accessories here, we can uh, give it uh, that same kind of wide field delay. If we... I'm in here. And... Uh, Spread these out. I'm going to go with about seven. 
40. We'll go with about seven. Can't see. Okay, so we got a nice wide delay there. Spacing it out a little bit, we could add some reverb. Uh, they have a nice... These effects, by the way, are nice, I think. They have a great uh, selection of uh, adjustments. So you get the idea, I think. As you can see, for if you're a guitar player, uh, I would go get Tone Bridge. Uh, thanks. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I haven't led you astray. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.